I just watched a video uh, documentary on Randy the Macho Man Savage. And I mean, he was as big a part of the 1980s as any of this garbage in here. And like watching that, I didn't know how troubled he was. I mean, as a kid, I looked up to him like he was like, oh, yeah, let me tell you something, Mean Gene Okerlund. I'll tell you. And he was like doing the hand. What a character that was. And uh, I guess according to the video, he wasn't that way until uh, he made the character up and then he became that way. And he was like, he talked like this. And, and they were like, all the other guys that were in his life told the stories about like him. He just became that guy. <laughs> and he wasn't that guy. He just made himself that guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, let me tell you something, Mean Gene. Hilarious. And gosh, and what a part of the 80s he was. Him and Hulk Hogan and all those guys were just fantastic, right? I mean, you can't make that. St he made it up. He made it up. He, I'm like, you can't make that up, except he made it up. <laughs> and uh, I love that. It was a piece of 80s Americana that I wish I, I wish I had back. When he passed away and he, somebody said at the end of that documentary, they're like, I don't. I don't know if there's any more of a macho man way to go out than having a heart attack and driving and steering into a tree. <laughs> Cause that's what happened to him. Oh yeah. I'm driving my car. I'm having a heart attack and I'm just going to blast it into a tree. Oh yeah. But yeah, it was a, it was a cool, cool story. And I love the fact that he was not that guy and he just, made up a character and he just became that guy. <laughs> I think that's awesome. Um, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Just become who you want to be, right? Be who you want to be. All right, everybody. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope everyone had a happy 4th of July and Good night.